Okay, this is cute, yeah, 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 but under here, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm um getting prepared for my birthday, getting prepared for my birthday trip. I can't wait to relax, G3. It's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming. You know, I've been on a battlefield, like for real, black under the eyes, getting to it. I'm on a battlefield. Now it's time for me to relax. Can I relax? Can I chill for a second? You know what I'm saying? Can I put my feet up? Can I drink me a glass of lemonade? <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much, guys, for being here. Thank you so much for your likes, your your likes, your, your likes, your, your shares, your, your comments. I feel like I'm, this is my YouTube thing. This is IG, but on IG Live. Thank you so much, everybody who's booking and subscribing. <laughs> who's booking and who's donating, keeping the lights on, keeping me going. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, 6 11 is my birthday, June 11th. Yes, you know, if y'all want to bless your sis. Thank you in advance. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking our birthday gifts all month. <laughs> I'm turning 36. Okay? The cutest battle I ever saw. Girl, because I just made her look good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know how Tina was covering up the wounds with, the, with that makeup? Yeah, I was just making her look good. <laughs> But um yeah. So um subscribe if you want daily guidance from your sis or you can join the Patreon. Alright, um, what else is happening here? And yeah, we're gonna hop right on into the energy G3. You see the title. I don't because I've been moving so much today, I, I had to run out to some stores, get some things for some last minute packing and all this other stuff, and the week just started and it's already been busy. <laughs> but um I didn't really like, you know, I get my my divine feminine and I get all of that going. I just sat at the table and I said, what's happening? We're just going to tap right on in, all right? And I heard a safe passage. Yeah, I heard that you have a safe passage through the gates. I heard that Anubis is protecting you along your travel through the underworld. See, you see... As much as we like to call this place Earth, it's some people that describe it as the underworld. This is the underworld. This is hell. You know what I'm saying? And the chosen ones have a safe... It's like they have... It's been written that they have a protection. They have a guardian, right? They are guardian. Isis... What's Isis man name? I can't even think his name. Horus? No, that's not Horus. That's his son. Whoa, what's his name? I can't think of his name right now. I saw Anubis in the clouds a few days ago because he's right there with you because it's, it's safe passage. It's safe passage for you, baby. That's all. Osiris, thank you, sis. Osiris, yes. Osiris, Anubis. Osiris set up Anubis to guard the chosen ones as they safely go through the underworld. This. 
I feel like you have been guarded. And, and, and that's crazy that you've seen Anubis because the, I feel like it's something about you. People are reaching the gates. The gates are, it's like the chosen one's been running. You know what I said? I've been running for Jesus for a long time and I ain't tired yet. <laughs> it's like they've been, they've been fighting, they've been warring, they've been running, and they've been trying to make it to these gates. <laughs> to these gates. Because they have, they have to make it to the gates at a certain time. They gotta make it to the gates. Okay? So they've been running, running, Jesus, you've been running, doing what you need to do, learn how to do, all of that to get to the gates. And you had protection the whole time. It is written for these chosen ones to have protection. And it's so crazy because I have to come, I want to come up here and do a live deeper about it because they gave me something to talk about and it blew my mind yesterday. You know, I, <laughs> I was scrolling and it was like, the chosen ones have, if you have these marks, you are the chosen ones, right? And on the, in the, on the screen, I'm, you know how like you're scrolling through, you know, YouTube, whatever, you see certain things, whatever. But the algorithm is type divine. It has some type of divine divinity to it. So it's like, you know, because at the end of the day, yeah, it be, it be listening to your words. Like, okay, it got, it got something set up to where whatever you talk about, it pop up on the algorithm. But why is when I, what I'm thinking about popping up on the algorithm? Now that's... <laughs> The talking, yeah, you hearing me? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but when, but when you in here, hold on. <laughs> That's that. It's, it's okay. Okay, it's a little okay. It's something, it's something else going on with it. Oh, it's two minded too. All right, all right, okay. I'm learning. I'm learning about the AI too. I'm learning about the, the algorithm, all that stuff. But anyway, so I'm scrolling, and you know how you see like the the pictures, like the uh, the cover art for like the the video that they have. And it's a man, and he's holding his hands like I, I'm gonna, cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the marks, cause I have them. <laughs> so the man is showing his hands like, boom! If you got these, and it, and the picture is like, you know, if you got these marks, you are the cho you are you know uh, um, uh, the chosen one. Or part, uh, you are part of the chosen ones, or something like that. Is it? And so I'm looking at it, and you know, you're not just paying. <laughs> I'm not paying it any mind. I'm scrolling, I see it, and I'm just I stop and I read it, and I look at the marks, and I'm like. And I look at my hand and I say, oh, I was like, wait. Because <laughs> first, because I was ready to just like, you know, how, you know how people just, they just, it's a whole bunch of stuff being said. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you see, you scroll, whatever. But I saw that and I just looked at my hands and I saw that. I said, oh. <laughs> it's the M's. You see the M? <clears throat> So if you have the mark with the M here, something about the M, okay? <laughs> something about the M. It's in Egypt. It's all over the pyramids. It's in hieroglyphs. It's all over the place. You have these marks. You have something. You have a bigger, a bigger purpose here, okay? You're here to do something. You're here to help humanity. You're here to heal the sick and raise the dead. Yeah, you're here to breathe the breath of life. Yeah, you're here to do amazing things here. So, you know, it's people that's every day, oh, I ain't special, and you got the M in your hand, and it's like, well, you said you're not special, but God said that you was. You saying that you're not, but the most I, you came through marked as you was. So, because, you know, people... It's people right now walking. I, I was, I didn't know. It took, I was scrolling. I seen this, the man here is like this. I'm like, and I, I'm so mad. Cause I was really sitting here like, and then I, I pulled my hand back and I'm like, ah. <laughs> that's what you get. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, oh yeah, they threatened by this. They threatened by this. Mm -hmm. because you completed a cycle and the gates are open I feel like it's something about the chosen ones being marked something about you have been marked you have this M.M. M&M okay M&M <laughs> all different flavors you saw the M&M's have different flavors but they always chocolate inside 
Mm. That's something. And not meaning like, like everybody got this, this uh, out of th their appearance is different, but the insides are the same. That's what I mean. Okay, I don't want to see the chocolate ones. Hold on. That's not split. Wait. Because there's white chocolate too. Ha. 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 No. <laughs> Eminem was my nickname in high school, in, in school. Eminem's, Eminem's. You caught up some Mark when we was with Mark men. I'm getting chills. Y'all giving me chills. <laughs> Your views are. Eminem was the logo. Yo, that's so dope. Both are delicious. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Finger licking good. <laughs> I want to take my daughter to Hershey Park, but she don't like chocolate like that. It's like, where you come from? And I used to love me some chocolate. I can't really eat it like that like I used to because it break my face out so bad. I have a cookie and everybody know it. I have a piece of chocolate and everybody know it. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's like, all right. But why we got beef? I was like, why me and chocolate got beef? I don't understand that. And I love and I love it. I love you though. It's like you're trying to, I'm trying to force this, I'm trying to force us to work. Work. I love you. Girl, I used to eat Nesquik by the spoonful. <laughs> oh, Nesquik? Yes. Ugh. Okay. Realization. Try dark chocolate. Hmm. Okay. Same gives me the underground addicted to chocolate. Ever no boy no. Added it. At, hold on. Additives and chocolates are no boy no. Something is no boy no because my body is not liking it. And I, but I like it. But it's like I, once I, it's like that's crazy, right? <laughs> that's how you know it's you working with something here. Y'all working together. Like you can, yeah, you might feel someone, you might like that. But is it good for? I don't like it. Is it good for me? <laughs> so what you want to do? Noxzema? No. <laughs> I don't use Noxzema, but you remember Noxzema? Remember that Noxzema face? <laughs> Kokai chocolate may be better for you. All right, I might try something different. Maybe. Okay. It's a beautiful day today, too. Dark chocolate. Oof. Yeah, chocolate is good. Anyway, let's 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 get in. Let's 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 get in. Realization is here. I feel like this is you're realizing. something coming to light awareness finding out i feel like you're like this is every day you're realizing more and more how amazing you are i feel like or well, every day you're realizing more and more how chosen you are that you are that there is purpose for you or that 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 you have been put here to to do something to create something to be to spread love even you know what i'm saying like every day you come to this, it's like more and more and more you realize, man, okay. And I feel like it's because the gates are opening up. So this is not a time for doubt here. We don't, it's like, they don't want you to doubt yourself or doubt your safety. Don't doubt yourself or doubt your safety because the gates are opening up for you. And this is why more, more, uh, just more and more things are coming to your awareness. Hmm. Negotiate, bargain, begging. It's people that's begging to come with you. They want to and not and come with you in a sense where they now they want to jump on the bandwagon. But see, the gates have been opened for you. For who? 
for you. You as in those who done the work. You as in the righteous. You as in the the good. Can we be good? <laughs> Can we be good people? Can we do good things? Make good decisions? Okay? I feel like people now are begging. Look, they want to pop up in your energy. They want to pop up in your life. They want to pop up and negotiate. They want to pop up and say, can we work it out? Can we? Because they want to come through the gates with you. You can't get through the gates on anybody's back is what I just heard. You, you can only make it through the gates on your, on your two. On your two. That's all. You can only make it through the gates on your two. You can't make it through the gates on nobody's back. Carry me through. Take me with you. No, 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 no. It's not you plus one. You plus two. You plus that. You bl No, it's none of that. Even when it comes to your children, yeah, that's what they said. Because, yes, and I was just telling my daughter I have a responsibility to, to show you the way until you're able, until you get to a certain point in time where now you have to be on your, on your tube, that you got to get, you know, and, you, and I got to make sure that you, that you know to make good decisions. So it's like, the, even the gates for what comes through you, ha they have to make it through on their too. You can, it's like, I guess they attach to you as, as you, as you move forward through, through the gates, but they got their gates to go through too. So they, when, when you're going through your gate, the, your children are coming with you, but it's still not their gate. It's still not the gates opening up for them. You see what I'm saying? So it's like everybody, even everybody got to go through the gates on their own too. So your children, yeah, okay, you might have two children, three children. They got if they're young or whatever, they come with you through 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 the gates. But that's still, that's still you. You know what I'm saying? They haven't broken, they haven't broken free. They haven't left the burden there. So it's that's that's all you. So they they said don't even count that as a plus anything. The children aren't a plus anything. That's you too. That's you. But anybody else, no. So it's not you plus one, you plus somebody else, you plus no, it's you not carrying nobody, coddling nobody, helping like and 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 because I'm not, I don't I don't want people to think like support and stuff like that. That is, you know, if you if you like somebody, if you wanna if you wanna help somebody, of course, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? I'm as but hello, it's support. That means that you're you're helping, you're supporting somebody else, like somebody else that's actually that's doing that's on there too too you know what i'm saying like i feel like these people don't have nothing to support they ain't got nothing to they don't got nothing to offer they they're not doing nothing. they just want to jump on your back and that's not how it goes that's not how you make it through the gates Gotta live for you. Yeah. Gotta find what's true. Gotta find what's true and live for you. Well, I can't wait to drop that song. When I wrote that song, I felt like I was gonna be on a on a on like in like a stadium. I always thought that like it was gonna be a big stadium, it was gonna be a big crowd, and I'm gonna be singing that song. Gotta dream big. Gotta dream big. Cause when it happens, it's gonna happen real quick. 
Yeah, I feel it. I gotta move fast. Family. This is people in your family. Yeah, people in your family. You got family members that want to ride. That want to ride on your coattail. That want to be a part of the story of you. Mm. The writers. Somebody here could be a writer, but it's something about these chosen ones are writers. They're very gifted. But it's something about they are the writers of the new world or the new. It's not a, it is a new world. Of the new world order. Oh. I love when they take things and they hijack it and they make it theirs and it's like, give it back. This <laughs> ours. The new world order. The money is going to be won. Right? They want to make the money won or something like that. That was the new, the currency. But the currency was about the water. Currency and current. Same thing. Water and money is the same thing. So they was talking about how money, how the water was going to be taking over everything. That's the new world order. How the, how the water going to be in control. <laughs> how mother going to be in control. Got everybody feeling the new world order. <gasps> but it was talking about oneness. <laughs> that's what it's supposed to be talking about. That's what it's supposed to be about. What y'all talking about? What y'all got it? What they got it about? Me and mother's in control. So it's something about the writers of this new world order. These are the ones that's making it through the gates. And this time your books won't be left out. Is what I heard. Ah. They like to leave books out. They like to burn them up too. You can't burn the word. <laughs> you can't burn the word. They be they, you know how many books they burn? You know how much information they tried to get rid of? You can't burn this. You can't burn. You can't burn this. You can't burn this. This right here. Uh, this word. Word the word. The word. You can't burn the word. Yeah, you can burn what's written, but you can't burn the word. <laughs> That's what you upped up at. Yeah, these writers are here to write what was written. That's what the, the chosen ones are here to write. What was written. Abandoned. Left out. Untold. Burnt. Burn them now. <laughs> you can't burn them now. They thought that if they burnt up the fact that the chosen ones was going to have safe travel, that it they weren't going to have safe travel. They weren't going to make it to their destination. They weren't going to to awaken and 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 and, and arise. They thought that if they burnt the words, if they left out the books, if they didn't tell the story correctly, they wouldn't make it. That's what they, that's what they thought. You can't burn the word. Here. See, you already been writing. Something about you. Some you already been writing. You you been you got it. You you been writing since since a child. 
diary here. Okay? <laughs> Keeping notes. They can't burn that. They can't burn that. So it's something about what you're taking into the gates. Ah. You see all this distraction? It's like, how long y'all gonna be right up in here in this in this little area right here? It's not, it's like, come on now. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to my Mexicans and stuff like that, but they build houses in a day. So I know that this little area right here is not, it's like, this is a distraction. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Mexicans. That's, that's no, but you know, they be built, they, they put a house up in a day. You blinking that. Because there was nothing there. It's like, they had, the, they had everything. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> the whole frame structure, everything going. They bees. No, they, they really be, they, they really the builders of this day. <laughs> And much respect to you, okay? Because that's hard work. But come on now, this little space right here. Now I know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? much you think you have control over your body and your vessel and stuff like that like you can like no 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 i'm not gonna say that because it's people that really do have control over their vessels and their bodies but there's people that are walking around every day just aimless you know they don't really know understand and these are vehicles like cars like cars that are alive and when and then with open doors and the keys already in the ignition and it's just waiting to be driven and there's a bunch of criminals on the loose and it's like they love cars and it's like oh look at this car and you know especially when you are target any cars any abandoned cars or left the cars just left open around you they're going to jump in and, and really cause disturbances in them so it's not that these people know me and they want to distract me and like oh she's doing a live let me stay right here no it's that it's this is the energy that we're dealing with okay and when you're dealing with the energy you're dealing with entities and you're dealing with um yeah when you're dealing with the energy you're dealing with entities so it just that's what comes with the territory so that's what i mean by it. these people are being distractions and not saying them but their vehicles and now they're gone look at that gotcha when you call certain things out it just is what it is <laughs> you know what i'm saying that, that's just, that's what happens but anyway um They're like, but we ain't going nowhere no. <laughs> like they're coming back. <laughs> well, what are they doing? <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> In real life, they not gonna come back. They 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 working. So <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. But um Yeah, so the writers. Oh, okay, so you're going through the gates with something here. Thank you, mother. You're going through the gates with what you have already written, with what, and not even written. You, you something about, studying. You, you're coming through the gates well prepared here. This is what I'm picking up on. You're coming through well prepared. And it's and I feel like it can be family members or people that are, you know, have some type of blood ties to you, some type of family members that want to, you know, they I feel like the, the family is realizing too that you are the chosen one of the bloodline. You know what I'm saying? And a chosen one in a spiritual sense. You know, not not to say like the one that 
you know, is the best. You know, it's like families have different, it's different people with different gifts and different things. But I feel like in the spiritual sense, you are that that chosen one in, in, in the family to be like a spiritual, you're here to break the spiritual chains. You're here to, you know, um, heal the, the, the generational trauma and stuff like that. It's like, it's always one. And just like there's, there's one person that does that or one, or, you know, it's, a few people can do this, but one is really good at it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's normally how the families are set up because your family is your first guideline to the world here. So you're going to have a, a different, a bunch of different things within the family. So you'll know how to navigate in the world. Okay. That's why you have dysfunctional families and stuff like that. And all, but even in dysfunctional families, there are a part of the family that is functional. So it's like everything is like the family is the first representation. So that's why it's a, you're going to have a bunch of things. You're supposed to learn how to deal with jealousy, envy, hate. You're supposed to learn how to deal with all of these things within the family. Okay. So, but however this goes, I feel like it could be the family was saying that you weren't this or that you weren't that or you weren't, you know, chosen or spiritual or special or different. It's like, it's like, you know, you, you weren't here to break the, the chains or the curses. They, they could have been saying this about you. Okay. And, and maybe why? Because of the life that you have lived because of the things that you have done or just because of they you know they didn't learn how to stop hating their family member you know what i'm saying when they was that they didn't they didn't they missed that lesson in when they was learning how to navigate you know life <laughs> learning reading the, the the manual the instructions on how to navigate life before they got out there and did all that stuff anyway however it goes the family is now realizing something here, okay? You are here to change the story of something too. I feel like you are here to change what was written about your last name. This is what I'm hearing. So something about your last name. It could have been a lot of drama, a lot of BS connected to the last name. It could have been a lot of failure, thank you mother, connected to the last name. But it's something about you that you're here to write something different down, okay? The, the book changes with you something changes with you because you made it through the gate see it's something about you needing to make it through the gate so that you can change the story change the story in the bloodline and write the story for the world okay this was what's happening is and what i was talking about with my subscribers today i gotta upload the videos but i have my videos from my subscribers okay but what i was talking about with, with my subscribers is that the universe is the stars are not telling a story about you the stars are telling its own story the universe is telling its own story here you know the stars astrology is telling it's a universal story here and we and we are the characters we are it's like the 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 universe is this, like the tv and we are the characters that's playing out what is written in the in the sky in astrology in the in the you know what i'm saying how about anyway we are playing out what is happening in the universe what is happening in the energy what is happening within the frequency and the vibration of this of the screen i don't know it's like a tv screen the universe can be like it it's like what a You know, I love that. I love that the mind can do that. Because what if you wake up? What if when you die, you wake up? Right? Like you die over here. We, we all mourning and crying and something. They wake up on us like that. Hold on. That was the day in front of the TV. Hold on, I was... I was in the show. I, that was a movie. Oh. I thought that. I thought that was real. How many times you woke up from a dream and you're like, "Wait, that was a dream." <laughs> Cause I thought that was real. <laughs> That's. I love the mind. Because. Who knows. I mean, it's 
so many theories, ideas. And that's why you take life serious, but then you don't. You know what I'm saying? That's the balance of life. Knowing that it's, it is serious here because of the structure and how and the systems and how things are set up and you gotta survive and you can't just be out you can't just be out here. I mean, there's people out here that's you know doing nothing and out on the street living that way. And some some homeless people they want to be homeless. They want to live like that. Some people don't. But um, you know it's and that's where you know you gotta be serious in the sense where you gotta get you okay get your act right whatever. But then it's like not taking things so serious. Because, what is this? I mean, you can have all the... You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying that the knowledge and stuff is not real. But I'm just saying, like, you can have all of that. Just like Solomon said. You can have all of that. And it's still a chasing after the wind. It's still like... But it, you can get all the way down to it. You was like, yeah, I made it. I, I broke it. I cracked the... You know, I, I figured it out. But then... It could be like then you then it's like okay, but what but what if it's not that? That possibility is still there. You can get, but the possibility of it's not being that is still there. Okay, it's still there. <laughs> That's why can we just be good? You know what I'm saying? Let's just be good people. I'm telling you, you learn a lot. You life will give you so much. Life will give you so much if you just be a good. You just be a good character. A good, a good actor, actress in the, hello. <laughs> don't good actresses and actors in the movies get rewards and stuff like that? And I don't mean like, you know, putting on, understand what I'm trying to say, okay? We are legit playing a role here. And it is up to us to make sure that we're playing a good role. You know what I'm saying? That we're playing a righteous role here. Because with this, with this, Script. That's what I was saying. The the universe, the the stars are legit a script. But with that script, is not just good. You know, the script is a it's a it's polarities here. So you have the good with the bad. You know what I'm saying? And just make sure that your the script that you are playing out or what you are deciding to do is on the on the right side of things because. You know, when you're playing on the... We see what happens in movies. You know, the bad guys. And that's another thing, too. You know how when you're watching a movie, you always fall for the the the, the criminal. I'm not going to say you. Let me talk about me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I be falling for the criminal. <laughs> what movie was that? Oh, my goodness. What movie is this? Oh, man. What is the name of this movie? Public Enemy. Remember in Public Enemy? What was the, what was what was the robber? His I forgot his name. When he met the, the girl, and he, she was like, "What do you do for a living?" And he was like, "I rob banks." I was like, "Ooh." <laughs> when they got rid of, when they killed, I was like, "Like he he ain't even dead. He not dead. They didn't kill him." I, was, I wanted him to get away. <laughs> I did. I forgot his name. Public Enemy. Okay, <laughs> I wanted him to get away. <laughs> But the movie, the, sometimes the movies have a, you know, they have a way to, to make you like, <laughs> you like the bad guy. You like the criminal. You know what I'm saying? But Scarface said it's the last time you see a bad guy like this. <laughs> but, um, the movie show you what happens when you're good. And what happens when you're bad? And sometimes not all good things happen to good people. You know what I'm saying? It's just, that's just like the script of life. And all you can focus on is you. That's why you can't carry family members on your back. Because all you can do in this life is focus on you. And you in a sense with you as in what you're here to do. And what you're here to accomplish. And what you're here to offer up you know, to the world here. And I feel like this these family members want to make you feel bad. I'm picking up on somebody wants to make you feel bad for focusing on you or being able to go through the gates and not taking them. But they got to understand you are protected. They can't come. Because only your feet can get you through the gate.
You're not going through the gates to chill. That's what they don't understand. You're not, you don't go through the gates. You don't make it through the gates to, 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 to relax and chill. Yeah, you, you get moments, you get times. I mean, you know, hello, when you when you at work, don't you get vacation days? Don't you get vacation? It's like you get times. You get you get time to relax and chill and do but when you when you have been chosen here to do something, it's you, it's work. You're building. And that's what these gods are here to do. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing something about gods. I heard God. That's what these gods are here to do. Oh, you can't burn the word. The word became flesh. Mm. So oh, the books they burned became flesh. Oh, you were walking. The books they burned came through the womb. Because the story must must be to, must be to, told. So there are things in life that you went through, and it's like, yo, where is like how like how do I get through this? Like you know, it's like you know how like there's certain things that you don't want to talk to 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 people about, and some people can turn to books and turn to you know different things and try to find certain things to figure out what's happening and what's going on, what why they feel like this or why they going through certain things, and it's like they cannot find the information or something here. They couldn't find the information because the information was in the books that they burnt and all this other stuff here, but. It's like you were in search for that information because you were the book that was burnt or something like that. It's like you were that book. So it's not, so no, you're not here to find somebody to help you through something. You're here to go with, like to, to go with, the, to, to read your book. It's like you're, you're here to be it. So you can write it down. This is what happens. This is what it, what it is. This is what you're going through. What I'm, what I'm going through. Oh, not even what I'm going through. What and yeah, because yo, when I first woke up, I was looking for Mama Odie so bad. Like I want Mama Odie so bad. Like you know, I want this old lady in the woods that's sitting there talking to the snakes and sitting there that's, that's got all the potions that I can just sit at their feet and be like, just tell me what's going on, <laughs> please. Help. Help. Like help. Like help. Like Look at the gumbo. I'm looking, Mama. I'm looking. <laughs> Like, I'll be out to please. You know what I'm saying? I'll t what the gumbo say? <laughs> I was what I was wanting a mama. And, and Mama Odie from Princess and the Frog. I was wanting a Mama Odie so bad. <laughs> but it was like, oh. I am Mama Odie. Damn. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. It's like, I was trying, because just even just that experience, what I went through in 2020 and just waking up, I feel like we, you know, we all kind of woke up and it was just like, and I'm not going to say 2020 because I know um, a, a lot of people went went through it before that. I, I always say 2020 because that was my time, but I know it was more times before that. Okay? But it's like that, that, that awakening process is so fast and it's so done. It's like, I'm trying to find Okay, what is this? What am I doing? Do you know? I'm just like, no, 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 no. You not, you not. It's, and it was nowhere to, it was nowhere to find it. It was like because it is you. It is happening with within you, so you can be the guideline, so you can write it down. So it's something about you were a book that was burnt. Can't burn the word. <laughs> G three, you was a book that was burnt. Twenty two, yeah, twenty twenty, twenty twenty four. Me wouldn't even recognize twenty. I'm a completely different person, like for real. It is, it is bugged out. I am completely a different person here. 
How? How you live your whole life? You, I was how? How was I? 33, my whole life changed 33. So for 32, 32 and a half years, you live, you, you, you think you know who you are. You think you got it together. You think that this is, okay, 32 and a half years. This is, this is who it is. This is who I am. Jasmine, Jasmine, you know, I'm a singer. I used to, I used to love to preach. Yeah. You know, I had a lot going on in life, but it was still, I thought that that was that. And then now it's like, I feel like a baby again. Okay, so you know how like a baby come out the womb and the baby got to learn, it got to grow. It got to learn how to walk. It got to learn how to talk. It got to learn how to do all of this. And and life is so beautiful for the baby, but the, it's a baby. So it don't even get to enjoy the fact that it's being taken care of. The fact that somebody's wife in this egg. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The fact that it's being spoon fed. The fact that it's being carried, you know, I don't got to walk nowhere. <laughs> oh God. It's like the baby is too young to realize how good it got it. The baby just, you know, it just is still getting to, I feel like I came out the womb. I'm an adult. I'm in, I'm, you know, 36 years old, but now I'm a baby. Like I'm being, I'm uh, life is so like, I feel like I have so much more to, I feel like I'm a baby. I like, I, I, like I press a reset, but I'm my age in a reset. Like I'm still this, but very childlike and I was talking about that on my, with my subscribers today too very childlike energy but yeah G3 a book that was burned so it's, it's, it's something about I'm telling you the family could be realizing like they feel cause then I see threatened earlier somebody feel threatened somebody, somebody in your family wanna pop up on you I keep seeing pop up they wanna pop up on you because they want to come. Ooh, something about their colors. Somebody can be uh, into the same sex here. But it's something about somebody's... They can't come with you because you saw their true colors here. Yeah, you put a time out on these people when you saw their true colors. I hope it's my aunt. I've been wanting to slap her. I want y'all to get off. <laughs> I want y'all to stop. <laughs> I want y'all to stop. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it was so funny today because I was thinking about. <laughs> you know how like you be thinking about certain things? Damn, I should have said that. <laughs> I had one of those moments today. Like I should have said that. <laughs> That would have really gut punched him. <laughs> but I was thinking about uh, with one of my aunts. It was like that's so so that's funny. You talking about your aunt? It might be your aunt because I was thinking about my aunt. I should have said that. <laughs> but yeah, somebody in the family they already showed you their true colors. You already know what's up with these family members, you know? And, and and the thing about it is, I feel like they're realizing that they can't. It's like they want to, but they can't. I feel like they, they could be realizing that they, they just can't do something here. You know what I'm saying? And it's not, and it's, beca and it's because of love. It's like you love where you're going in life, the path that you're on, and what you're here to do. You love where these gates have taken you. You love what the gates, where the gates led you. Yeah, the direction that the gates are leading you in. You love this. Whatever this is that you do. Because it's something about a book. It's something about a story. Your story, your story is so profound. Your story is so magical. Your story is so transformative. It's something about your story that they, they burnt it. They burnt your story. That's how beautiful it is. Your story can save lives. Your story can transform the world. 
Your story can really bring forth a new world order. This is why they burnt the books and said, no, 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 no. This is what the new, this is the new world order. No, 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 no. The new, they burnt, they burnt those books. So the new world order said, okay, we'll just come through the womb. People don't understand. In the Bible, it says, you don't got to pray, like you don't got to praise God that the rocks will cry out. Whew. It, like, like, like the universe will get what it needs. Whatever it needs to happen will happen. Whatever you, God, you don't got to do nothing. You can try to destroy it all you want. You don't got to say nothing to me. The rocks will cry out. The rocks will, will let me know who I am. Huh? You don't got to, you don't got to feel no type of way about me. You don't got to talk to me at all. You can keep living this life the way that you've been living it. The rocks will abide. The rocks will praise. The rocks will worship. The heck you talking about? And they was talking about them crystals. Ooh. Because <laughs> isn't, the, isn't the crystals alive? <laughs> you don't got to say shit. Ooh, G3. <sighs> Time out here, cleansing. Yeah, I feel like you cleanse your space, you cleanse your energy, you cl you remove the negativity from your life here. And that's what they're realizing. I feel like people I feel like these there could be family that's realizing because you see them. You you see them or you've been see them, seen them. It's like I feel like they're seeing themselves now or something like that. Somebody's real, realizing that you can't, you can't carry them. You can't take them with you. Like this, they gotta, it's like you put a time out on some, on family members, or this could be even friends that you call family or, you know, just anybody that you call, you know, somebody that's real, real close, somebody that's a part of your inner circle. This could have been somebody that was really close to you, but I feel like you had to put a time out because number one, like I said, you saw the, 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 the true colors of these individuals. And number two, where you're going requires the legwork. The energy that you are in. It's like people say, say you're in this very peaceful, abundant energy where you're manifesting, you're calling things in. People want to be connected to you because, first of all, your energy is very... Uh, it's very powerful. Your your auric field is very powerful. That even people in your energy they 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 manifest too. And this is what they this is what they know. So this is why they want to be connected to you because they want to manifest too. But like I said, they and that's why they oh that's why they they have been pushed out of your energy because your energy is not just magical. The book the book don't. The book changes everybody's life. You know what I'm saying? When people read the book, this is why they burnt them. Because if people get their hands on this book. You know how the books that you can't put down? Like, oh, this is good. Like, you can't wait to, look, you can't wait to sit back on the couch and chill and get, and get into this book. Because <laughs> this book is so good. This book is transforming. And this book is like making me want to, So somebody know, like, okay, no, no, no. Oh, Wow. So this is why it's it's a gate. It's a gate that you got to go in and the gates are closed. It's like you're in, you're protected because it's something, yo, it's something about gatekeepers here. And I remember one time I was getting a lot about gatekeepers, like the gatekeepers are changing, the gatekeepers are changing, the gatekeepers are changing. And yes, the gatekeepers are changing or the gatekeepers did change. Oh, okay. It's something about, oh yeah, I know. This is good. Y'all want cause it's something about
so you, so gatekeepers they they can they tell who reads the book and who don't read the book and who so you have like yeah you have like some guardians around you where it's like they they it's like your gatekeepers it's like you have gatekeepers because of you are the book or something like that so it's like everybody can't read and and this is why you know certain things are set up even with societies as above so below this is what they tell me. Even with societies, it's certain information that you cannot receive until you get to a certain level of understanding or a certain level within yourself, or a certain level to where you can process and handle certain information and stuff like that. So you got to be on a certain... So even in societies, they don't just... You don't just go in a society and think that you know everything because you don't. Okay? I can tell you that right now. If there's, if there's people above you, if there's things above you and, and above you... Don't even probably know the half of some things. You know what I'm saying? And they just sitting there with you just hee 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 hee. Hopefully one day you'll get to the point where you can know this information and stuff like that. So they even, they gatekeep certain information because they know where the, 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 the human has to be mentally, physically, and emotionally to receive some type of information. So even a lot of all oh, the free I'm a free this, I'm a that. They don't even have all the information because some of them they so low vibrational that the higher ups will never give them that information. So they just you can walk around with your badge and your title and all that stuff all you want, but I get but I bet you don't know everything because your higher ups won't tell. <laughs> because you are you have not balanced yourself out. You have not healed. And yeah, healing is required in them societies too. They. I'm telling you, it is. It didn't start off how 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 things are, are going and, and turning around now. These things been around for centuries and stuff like that. It didn't start off. It didn't start off all corrupt. Those were the niggas burning the books. <laughs> they started burning the books. <laughs> Why? What happened? What? The, what happened? They started burning the books. Power. Yeah, they want power. I'm telling you. They said the love of money will make you do crazy things. It's the love of power. But I guess money is power. If you, yeah, people have money. They feel like they have power and all this other stuff. But people who cannot have no money and still just want power. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> What time is it? Oh, I gotta go. Oh my goodness. Let me let me finish this point. What, is, what was I saying just now? I forgot what I was just saying, G3. G3. But yeah. They realizing who you are. And that they can't come with you. That the gates have been has has been open for you. Oh, I was talking about the gatekeeper. So there, yeah, you have some type of you have spirit. You have so yeah, the levels. Thank you, mother. So where you have to be in order to get certain things. So I feel like being that you are some type of book here. Like your energy, you it's transformative. Just like if somebody get their hands on the right book, right. So just like they got to protect certain books here, you are a book that they got to protect. And I've been getting this book for the subscribers too. So yeah, so yeah. So that's what it is. You're being protected like a book. Do you know, oh, the book of Eli, remember? Everybody wanted a Bible. They, they needed a Bible so they could have power. <laughs> Hold on. And he was doing everything to protect his book. He was blind. Remember, he was whooping a blind.
That's significant. Because it's not about... It's not about reading. It's about being. Because it wasn't necessary. Because didn't he lose the, the, the book? And they, they took and they found out it was in Braille. And he, he, then he started to, you know, once he got to where he was trying to get to, he started to, you know, speak it in the beginning. But you see how hard he was going to protect that book? That's how I feel like something was here. You, you were, you were supposed to protect a book. So you became the book. I don't know. Something, something is crazy. Something is happening. I feel like th this is why you have a lot of protection. Cause that's what I was, that's who came out today for the divine feminine for my subscribers was the lady of Guadalupe about being, I am safe and divinely protected and I am held in love at all times. Yeah. I feel like it's because you are you are a book and everybody can't be around in your energy because everybody is not ready to receive. They got to get to a certain level to read from your book. They got to get to a certain level to bask in your energy. And this is what this family members are realizing. They showed you their true colors too soon. Because now that you see them you know that they are unworthy of reading the book. I love you, G3. Let me go. Let me go. If you got anything from this message and you want to leave your girl a donation, all of my information is down below. And listen, it's the birthday. So, you know, y'all want to send your sis on the my birthday. You know, thank you so much because I'm going on a little trip. You know what I'm saying? So, a little, a little pocket change would be nice. So, you know, thank you so much <laughs> in advance. <laughs> and, um, yeah, until next time, family, I love you guys. And you guys, and, and go outside and enjoy this beautiful day. All right.